There is always an enigmatic design behind ceremonial ordeals, but it was a long time before I learned the secret of it all. Concealment went hand in hand with the traumatic incidents and occult psychodramas. Such cover-ups inevitably require a large network of influential people so they can work effectively, even if only an inner elite is cognizant of the esoterics of what actually took place and why. The fact of the matter is that attempts have been made time and again to ritually murder me. That's from chapter 14 of James Shelby Downard's The Carnivals of Life and Death. Hello and uh, welcome to another edition of The Stench of Truth. Uh, the economy was dealt another blow uh, recently, the last couple days, uh, with uh, uh, an increase in jobless claims and um, a fall in uh, consumer spending, uh, which caused the stock market to retreat somewhat uh, and uh, put a more stern face on what's going on in this country, even as the Federal Reserve and some other commentators have been, you know, coming out with tentative positive signs of economic recovery. And as I stated before, I'm going to state yet again that there is no fucking economic recovery going on. This, if anything, is a false sense of recovery. Because there is a lot left still wrong with this economy that needs to be addressed and is not being addressed. And I do not hear one word being spoken about the various horrific things that are waiting to come down. And those include derivatives, trillions of dollars, maybe even a quadrillion or more dollars worth of derivatives that are unaccounted for, not talked about. Commercial real estate, which is, uh, which is suffering and which apparently I haven't heard a single beep about except for a few people who, uh, who've talked about this issue. And um, not to mention some softness in the financial industries as well. Um, still. And uh, AIG still having some trouble. And uh, appears that only the, um, only the thieves, uh, bloodsuckers and vampires of Goldman Sachs are the only ones who... Uh, who, who seem to be on steady ground as of right now, and they're, they're having their own legal problems with uh, former employee uh, uh, being sued over supposed uh, theft of their software. Probably software that uh, enables them to fleece, rob, and uh, take every cent off of uh, anybody that they possibly can in order to better their own position. So. Imagine they don't want a lot of publicity over this issue because it will be revealed how much they are bloodsuckers, vampires, and rapists at Goldman Sachs. But uh, again, I reiterate what I've said before, that if, if you are inclined to believe that we are in fact in store for recovery right now, I beg to differ with you and I would say that uh, you need to still hold on because we're going to have a, a very bumpy ride still down the road. Until all of these greater issues are resolved, um, there is no end in sight, as far as I can see. And uh, with this new blip coming in right here, I think it serves a really great purpose for people to become refocused on the fact that this economy is far from fucking solved. And we are not yet on the road to recovery, because this is no ordinary recession. If you want to call it a depression, that's fine with me. But it's certainly not a regular recession. It may be the greatest recession we've ever had. It may be a depression on a par with the Great Depression. Whatever you want to call it, it's not over. Not by a fucking long shot. So, remain where you were at the height of this crisis, I think. And uh, continue to uh, stay focused on what's important. Keep Keep your home safe and secure, you know, uh, have a little bit of extra here and there, maybe invest if you have the money to do so in a little bit of gold and silver to help keep, you know, yourself uh, uh, solvent, as it were, if, if things uh, take a, a greater downward turn. Um, 
And uh, remember that uh, there are still a lot of problems that, that need to be addressed and that are not being addressed and are in fact being hidden, covered up, and purposely not talked about. So uh, you need to stay on your toes and you need to realize that we still have a long way to go if and when we get somewhere and see the light at the end of the tunnel. So thank you. Good night.